Hey guys, welcome to Traditional Bow Hunting Wilderness Podcast. This is Jason Samkoviak. I've got a number of requests for people wanting me to explain my safety line system that I run on here. Um, I did a video on it about a year and a half ago, but apparently it was people wanted better detail of some of the knots and some of how it works and how it's connected. This is basically, and I don't even remember, I want to say this is this is eight millimeter. I think it's eight mil. I will put a link in it below for you because uh, I will go in a garage and get this bag and see what it is. I should have done that beforehand, but it's I think it's eight millimeter dynamic uh, mountain climbing rope. This is very high end uh, mountain climbing rope is what this is. And I use it basically, what I do with this is I use it just like you do your strap that goes through here that you connect to the tree. I do the same thing with this setup. The only difference is that mine is adjustable with a proof knot and then it gives me more slack now I don't use all of this slack so for example I got some of this stuff out here because I was just making a different video but if I take this here and let's say that I'm gonna throw this on a tree like I'm gonna hunt with it here so I put this up once I'm standing pretend I'm standing on a stand um, I'm not climbing up there because I got a torn meniscus layer in my knee. I'm healing pretty good, but I'm not climbing stands yet. I don't want to ruin it. I want to be able to be up in a, in a stand in a month for a Bella's bear hunt. So I'm doing physical therapy and not trying to push it. Um, but So I'm not going on a stand. But if I was in a stand, I would come up there, swing that up as high as I can, lock that in, and then I set it with that Prusik knot. I'll spin it around so you guys can see, okay? Set. There it is, right? Now, I'm not leaving all of this slack here. This slack is giving me slack to be able to get around bigger trees. Uh, it's giving me a chance to put it up higher. It's giving, I, I like this amount of slack that I have in here. To shorten that, I'm just making a half hit, an overhand knot in this rope wherever I want to like that. And it gives me one more layer of cushion. Is that not, If I were to fall, as that knot cinches and tightens, it's going to slow that down. Plus this rope is dynamic and has got some stretch and elasticity to it, which is also going to help me with my fall and help soften that. Um, and then I have it connected right through here, which I'll show you. But so that's how I would run that. But that gives me a little bit more freedom and a little bit more movement to be able to turn in my tree and shoot this way if I'm leaning off my stand to lean around uh, to be able to sit down on a platform if I want to. It gives me a little more freedom. That's why I use it. Uh, so, so that's my system. When I get ready to come down, I just simply disconnect it like that. I pull it like right there. It's just, it's really sweet, simple, easy, and quiet. And it's very, very lightweight and convenient. I hook it on and then I just snug everything back up. I pull it tight right there. I take all of the slack right here. I just overhand knot it again. And then I throw it right over my shoulder like that and I'm done. So there it is and it just hangs back there. As I go through the woods, I'm not worried about it. It's just back there. Now, how is this done? Okay, that's the question you guys were asking is how is it it's made? What I have, it's disconnected also, you can see it. All right, again, it's that eight millimeter climbing rope here, which again, I will put down there. So if I loosen this up so you can see it here, there is just an overhand knot right here. Okay, it's just a loop. See this loop right here? It's just a loop that I have on there. I could pull all this out through here, but I'm not gonna. But it's just a loop right there. I stick that loop, I, I will. I'll take it out of there for you, hold on. Fish this through there. Okay. Pull this out. So what I have right here, I'm gonna keep that right there so I put it right back in the same way. Stay there. All right, so it's just an overhand knot that I have in there. That's an overhand knot. I put another half hitch in here and then I lashed it together with both fast flight serving string, okay, just to keep that tag end from moving. That is not going anywhere. It will not come apart. It's not, it, this is incredible. I lashed it by hand, super tight. I'm, I'm completely happy and content with this. If you don't like the system and don't want to use it, don't use it, but that's how I did it. Then I just put it right through here like this, okay? right through that, that slot on there. Then I feed this stuff right through it. So I grab the Prusik knot, I'll show you all this here in a minute, but I pull this right through. So that comes through, like so. And then I just feed the loop over itself so it's good and tight right there. And that's it, okay? That's, that's all there is to it. It's just locked onto that right there like that. Just sweet, simple, easy, just a, a, a loop over itself is all that is. Nothing fancy, nothing high tech, but it's going to stop me. It is not going to come apart, not even a little bit. Um, so that's how I connect it to my actual harness. Then as we work our way down here, you'll see I have a Prusik knot. 
before you guys go saying, oh my God, your Prusik knot is the same diameter as the rest of your rope, you can't do that. Yes, I can, it's mine. I can do it any way I want to. You wanna do it different, do it different. I wanted a strong, thick, eight millimeter Prusik knot to catch onto this too. Does it work? Yes. Have I tested it? Yes. Is it gonna hold? Yes, it's, it's perfect. I like it, I'm not changing it. If you want yours different, go ahead. Uh, d disclaimer. Don't do this. Stick with the standard one that you have anyway that, just, that came with your harness that you wrap around a tree and it's all better. That way you have no worries. This is my system. I use it. I have full responsibility for myself. So this is a Prusik knot. Yes, I made it out of the same diameter. Is it a little looser on there? Yes, but once I actually take this and connect it, and I put it on there, it stays tight enough. It does lock on a tree where it doesn't have any slack and that holds. Once that's actually pulled on there and you pull that tight, there it is and it stays, okay? And it does lock on there pretty good. It's not coming anywhere. Besides that, it doesn't need, I don't, I'm not relying on the Prusik knot to stop me in a fall because the tree is inside of here. As this thing tightens up, it's going to cinch down on that tree like that and it's not gonna come loose anyway. So it's not like I'm relying on a knot. All I need the Prusik knot to do is give it enough tension so that when this is wrapped on a tree, it doesn't sag or fall. That's all it does here for me. It just gives me a little bit of adjustability, real simple. So I used the same diameter rope for my Prusik knot. And then on the opposite end of that down there, so that Prusik knot, right here is sitting right in the middle of that rope. I can adjust it anywhere I want to. Down at the other end, I have an overhand knot in here with a loop right there, just snugged right in there. And then again, I double lashed that with lashing with string serving material. Just took it, that string serving material, and I just, just like you would serve a bowstring, and I just wrapped it super tight around there in two different spots to keep that there. All I did, sweet, simple, easy, takes about 10 minutes to do, and then that gives it to me. When I get up in a tree, I take this loose end right here, I unhook it from the carabiner, I take it in my hand, I throw it around the tree and grab it, I grab the carabiner in this hand, throw this up where I want it to be at, I usually try to get it up as high as I can, whoop, hang on, again I'm not usually dealing with a stand there, so I throw it up there like that, I connect the carabiner onto that, and then I pull tight on that Prusik that you see, and see that Prusik just has to give enough slack to hold it there. So I'll bring it down a little bit. I might be out of frame here. Here we go. So there we go. But all that Prusik has to do is keep it from wandering down the tree. That's all I need it for. If I were to fall, that Prusik isn't holding me. The whole knot system is. So it's locking into there. It's not, there's, I'm not going anywhere. That's all I need it to do. To take the slack up for any diameter or distance I want. If I want to be real tight in, I can take it right to there. And put that knot right in there just like that. And lock it right down up here tight. If I want more slack, I can give it more slack. If I want more, and then tighten it. I can do whatever I want by adjusting it with that. It's very simple. Is it very rudimentary, very old school, very uh, barbaric? Yes, it is, but I really like it. It works really good for me, and I love the simplicity of it. And it's so quiet. It's so easy and quiet to work with. When I'm done, I disconnect it. While I'm standing here, I got my lineman belt already around the tree. I take this off. And I take the Prusik knot and I slide it all the way up to the end of this. And then I just put an overhand knot in it just to lock everything together for while I'm walking out. Just like that right there. Sweet, simple, and easy. That's how I have it. And I throw it right over my shoulder. That's it. That's all there is to it. Sweet, easy. So now you see uh, how the loops are done, how that stuff is. Overall, I'm saying there's probably about seven feet, six to seven feet of total length of rope is what I have there, uh, is what you want to start with before you make the knots. About, I would, I would do seven feet. Uh, that way, if you need to and you want it shorter, you can always just take your tag end right there and, and you know, and, and shorten it up if you want to. But, uh, uh, but about six, seven feet is what I would start with. I will have a link below that kind of shows you what that rope is. It's a dynamic stretching rope I think it's 8 or 8.5 millimeter or something like that uh, I will have a link there for you but hopefully that explains how I made it am I recommending it for everybody no is it a, is it a are there better systems out there probably but for me it's dead quiet it's super safe it's going to protect me in a fall very well um, and it's it's simple it's efficient simple and easy and uh, so I really like it but again I'm hanging stands every single time I'm going out there I, I, I'll hang if I hunt for a week I'm hanging 14 to 15 different stands in a, in a week period um, you know every morning every afternoon every evening I'm, I'm always hanging it going up and down a tree for me it's all these little systems are what matter and for me this is one of the best systems I've come up with that works better than anything I found. 
giving me that versatility for all the different types of trees that I'm actually in. Uh, allowing me adjustability, allowing me to shoot different ranges, allowing me to give myself some slack if I happen to uh, drop something and it ends up hanging on my top of my step and I want to reach down and get it. Allowing me enough slack to be able to, if I have my stand hung and I set there and all of a sudden I get a creak out of my stand, I have enough slack in that system that without disconnecting it I can actually climb over and I can undo that one knot get onto my tree steps, right? You know, I can climb off of my stand, just loosen the knot up enough, climb off the stand onto the sticks, and then I can readjust that stand, reposition it, tighten it, lock it, get it set, climb back up. It just gives me a lot of versatility. With the other simple tight strap system that goes from here right to the tree and locks it, I found myself constantly getting mad at that thing and having to fight with it. This has been my solution. Thanks for watching. Be back with more stuff soon. Talk to you later. Bye.